Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, is a little bit more information about the Artistic Media Tool, but also is after how to help change a shape after you uh, made it with the Artistic Media Tool. So I'm just going to take a rectangle and I'm just going to make a shape and I'm going to round off the corners quite a lot. Let me move this down here. I'm going to make sure it's selected. I'm going to go to the Artistic Media Tool and I'm going to pick that one right there. And a lot of times if it doesn't apply, try changing your variable up here. And it's actually there, it just can't see it. Then you can actually go to 10. But the real reason for the video is, let's just do this one right here since it's in. If you will click on your item, this is a rectangle with, rect uh, with rounded corners. If you will press your F10 key, it will convert it back into a rectangle or a rectangle so you can move it and you can change it. And this would work with any rectangle type deal. Um, you can, I've never really understood what the F10 key did, you know, because it, it pulls up this uh, feature where you can change the everything. But I thought, well, why is it that when you've got the rectangle tool you know, right here, and all that information comes up. I couldn't understand what F10 did, but it does just make it where you can slope that curve real quick. Anyway, so that's the F10 key mainly used to me today with the Artistic Media Tool. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.